Will everyone accept the Jewish Messiah when he comes? I'll tell you a little story that I think will answer the question for you. A person once went to a great Rebbe of his, his master, his teacher, and he said, Rebbe, what happens if your Messiah comes and I don't accept him? He said to him, my son, if you don't accept him, neither will I. That gives us the answer if everyone will accept the Messiah when he comes. Part of the factors and official features of the Messiah is everyone will accept him as king. The whole world will surrender to his authority. He'll have he'll be the top representative of God himself. <clears throat> but there's an interesting point is that before he's there's gonna be a point before he's declared as Messiah. This is when there might be at first in the world where people might, some people might say, oh, this guy might be the Messiah. Others might say, like, you know, not hear of him yet, you know. But when he's officially crowned as Messiah, when it becomes official, of course the whole world will accept it. That's part of the feature of it. Because we should note that this is a very crucial factor here is that when the Messiah comes, the whole world will be filled with knowledge of God. There will be a tangible knowledge of God. People will know the Almighty. They'll know God. They'll know the eternal God. Just like, I know that this is a white shirt. I know that I need to breathe. I know that I need to drink water. Like all these things that I am, have tangible knowledge of that are very clear to me. When the Messiah comes, we'll have tangible knowledge of God. I will, I will literally see the, the godliness in everything. The Rebbe explains that the glory of God will be revealed. That the whole all of flesh will see that the Lord has spoken. The Rebbe explains that our physical bodies will see God. Our literal, literal eyes will see God. We'll understand God in our minds and we'll literally see Him with our eyes and we'll feel Him within our hearts. So, when the Messiah arrives, we'll surely know that this person is the Messiah when it happens. Because it's going to be a flip of the switch. It's going to be a new reality. The whole We're going to be enter a new dimension of reality, a new consciousness. So... That's why, you know, when people say, when people make all these claims, so on and so forth, really, in terms of when people criticize the Jewish people that they, God forbid, say false messiahs and all these things, we have to note that when the Messiah comes, the whole world will, will experience it and will know it. When it's fully declared, when it's fully revealed. Of course, the Messiah is going to have stages. There's going to be a stage before he's revealed as Messiah. But once he's revealed as Mashiach, it'll be official. The whole world will recognize it. Meaning it won't be a semi-celebration, a semi-ceremony. It'll be a full-blown, full-on experience. I hope this uh, message found you well. We should know that this, as great as the Mashiach is, he needs us, by the way, to bring him. The work here is dependent on us. He's ready to come at any moment if we are worthy of it if we are meritorious we should know that one extra good deed the rebbe says that one a little bit more in the realm of goodness and kindness will bring mashiach immediately the person just has to do a little bit more in the area in the field of goodness and kindness and immediately the messiah will be here hope this message found you well may the almighty bless you may this reality happen today so you won't have to believe me for it but you'll see it with your own eyes you should know that everything's from scripture everything's sourced out but still, we want to see it with our flesh, with our own eyes. God bless you all. May it happen today.